joining the fun. And Tina McCoy joins us live in Sacramento with Assemblyman Ken Cooley and the reason he's getting all gussied up. Hot tea! Yeah, I don't know. I just walked in the door, so I don't know. We're going to find out together here. No, he's getting glam. We're going to find out why for good cause. Watt and Fair Oaks. Okay, let me put it food-wise. Next to Danielle's Crepery. Oh, I got right? you now. Yeah. Vinoteca. Right. So you know where I am. Yeah, yeah okay. I know where I We're at Cerise Salon. Cerise Salon Ooh. here. Oh, And like Assemblyman it. Ken Cooley is here. Tell us a little bit more about why are you getting all purdy. Well, you know, the, here in Sacramento County, we have court-appointed special advocates. These are folks that stand in as an advocate for a child in the foster care system. If there's any sort of court proceeding, it's an adult that gets to know that child, that little boy or that little girl, and in court proceedings is there on their behalf. Okay. And so these are kids that actually don't have the typical family, so to have a dependable adult to watch out for them. So we're here today supporting funding for court-appointed special advocates to play this vital role in the life of a child. And there's a huge need in the county generally, but especially a need for men to participate as oh, advocates okay. for boys. So this is part of the CASA, right? Give me your name. Randy Rolf. All right, and you work over at CASA. I'm actually on the board of directors, immediate oh. past president. Okay, so uh, as Solomon Cooley was saying, we need more men to yes. step up. How many people do we have like in Sacramento County? We have about 250 active CASAs. Um, currently, uh, we obviously need more. Um, we have a disproportionate advocate population right now where we've got about 26% males. We'd like to bring that up to about 50%. Okay. But we could use any willing adult, um, men, women, couples. Okay. Uh, Let's start the process. And your name, ma'am? My name is Amy Anderson. I'm the owner here. I am also a licensed barber. So I'm just kind of shaving them down with the clippers first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we have an event tomorrow. Yes. So tomorrow is our annual glam event. And 100% of everything we do tomorrow mm -hmm. will go there to it Casa. There it goes. There it goes. There goes yep. the mustache. Mm -hmm. So 100%, including tips, we have haircuts, shampoo, blow dries, updos, makeup, we even added in eyelash extensions tomorrow. Ooh. Oh, okay. Um, and we have plenty of space available. We want to fill the chairs all day to fundraise for to Casa. Fundraise Let for me Casa. try. Oh, oh, ow. No. oh no. no, never mind. No, no, no. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> all right. In the nine o'clock hour, we'll see what he looks like after it's all said and done. Give me those clippers. As long as you don't touch the clippers, then you're okay. Then <laughs> oh, yeah. he's good, right? He almost got up when Tina says, yeah. I'm going to take the clippers. <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. He's got work to do. You stay clear. <laughs>